What is up, everybody? My name is Dane Thompson. Welcome back to another episode of Burn Down. So this is basically just going to be us taking a little trip over to the machine shop. So I'm actually, though, very excited because I have pretty much all the parts for the engine for the Twinnebago, which is this big behemoth hanging out way back here, if you don't know. There she is in all her glory. You see the top of her. Ta-da! So we have pretty much all the engine parts for that. And today is a special day because um, if you don't know, I bought a six liter truck motor for the Twinnebago. It had a bad, well, it had a piston that magically disappeared. So we had to sleeve it, but I got it for a hell of a deal off of a good friend of mine. So it was worth taking the machine shop and getting it done. Well, today is D-Day. Supposedly it is done today. The problem is I got to drive from here to LA and anybody that lives in California knows that it's not that far of a drive, but it's going to take me probably all day considering the weather and all things uh, considered. But um, the last piece of the puzzle that I had to get is I didn't have heads. I got a short block, rotating assembly, all that fun stuff. I didn't have heads. Well, um, I went to my local magic watering hole and I found these. Ta-da! Obviously, you can tell that, um, you know, we buy good used parts. They're good and used and dirty. But a set of 243s, so I'm going to take those in today, have them all cleaned up, and then I have a set of valve springs that we're going to put on there because I have a cam. So no, these are not Texas Speed good springs. They are used blue springs with retainers. So these are actually the original springs I had on the Malibu combo. Uh, for those of you guys who have been following me for a while, I kept them. And then they're good to like 5,500 RPM, I think, or something like that before they float. But um, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll just throw those on the Twinnebago because we're not going to be wrapping that thing. I'm not really trying to race it. We'll, well, we'll see. Hopefully we don't try to race it. But um, we're going to put the blue springs on there after we get these all cleaned up. We'll just do a valve job just for cheap insurance. Um, and then, so we'll, we'll flip flop. So we're gonna flip flop today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give them the heads, we're gonna take a short block home, then when the heads are done, we can do the final assembly on the motor and all that. But then, until then, I'm still trying to find a transmission. So, haven't decided yet, you guys let me know. I'm on the fence for a lady or a TH400 with a gear vendor. Um, the 4L80, the problem I have with one of those is unless I pull it out of some car that I get to drive around or truck that I know runs, taking somebody's word for it is kind of tough because I really don't feel like pulling it back out of the Twinnebago once it's in. And then the TH400, I can go through that myself, so I know it's good, or at least as good as the work that I can do to it. I have a buddy that's done a couple, so I think we can be okay on that. And then I have a line on a gear vendor um, that should be in good shape. So. Those are my options. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm thinking 400 with the gear vendor, and then I can have the Terminator X control the gear vendor, and it'll be just, just as good. So, that is it. Let me know what you think there. We're gonna get out of here, we'll take a road trip. I'll film some of the graffiti and stuff. It's really cool over there, but um, yeah, here we go. Road journey, road trip. The road heading out toward LA. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I live in Southern California. That's where I'm based out of. And one fun fact about Southern California and weather is as soon as there's like one raindrop, everybody freaks out, forgets how to drive. Not like we all know how to drive here in Southern California anyway, probably way too many people, but it just makes commuting and trying to drive even worse. And then today is actually a holiday uh, weekend, or holiday week, not weekend. It's Thanksgiving week. And this is the day before Thanksgiving that I have to go out here. Unfortunately, I tried to push it back till next week because I really didn't want to deal with all this. But so far, so good. A little bit of rain, we're still rolling, which is kind of a miracle considering what time it is in the morning. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted. If it goes like this, I'll be home and back. But I am prepared for the worst though. I've got a soda and I've got a radio and my heater works. We are good. First world problems, right? So we made it. We are down here at the good old machine shop. So, check this out, dude. Ooh. These building graffiti is so rad. They got all the graffiti all back there, down there. So, all right, I'm pull in. But yeah, 
just want to show you guys some of the graffiti down here in downtown. I think it's East LA. So rad, dude. Look at that. All right, well, we have a bit of a dilemma. Not terrible, but I showed up and my motor is not assembled. So everything's ready for assembly. So he said it would take at least a couple of hours to get it done. So um, I'm gonna drive around and kill time, see if anybody is available that's local that I can hang out. Cause there's no way I'm driving all the way back home and then all the way back here and back. Like that's, it's just too much. So I'm gonna find my closest local friend that I can go bother for a while before I gotta be back here at around 1 p.m. One eternity later. All right, we are out here in LA. The sun came out, uh, hopefully for a little bit, and I'm still waiting on the engine. I came back, it's been a few hours. He's assembling, and then he said he found a couple bad rods. So I gave him, it's used rods and pistons going back in my motor, and I gave him 14 rods and pistons, and majority of those were junk, And um, but he's got enough to actually complete it. So out of 14, we got eight that are hopefully good, good enough to propel a motor home down the street and down the road and actually from here to Vegas and do some smoky burnouts with it and hopefully some other stuff before it lets go. I'm gonna wait around, I'll let you know we're up when we're back on the road and then hopefully it doesn't rain more because it was pouring and I'm like, man, really don't want to put my short block in the back of my truck with it pouring rain. So hopefully the hot rod gods let the weather hold out long enough for me to get my happy ass home tuck that thing in the garage where it belongs until we get the heads all done and uh yeah we'll get rolling six and a half hours later all right well this is the status of things uh i'm getting rain on with my brand new motor but i thought it'd be smart and leave the bag on it and then just put the bolts through the bag so get this thing unloaded and then i'll show you guys make sure you can get water in it All right, well, that is a wrap. Uh, the time frame wasn't quite as long as I made it out to be on here, but I, it was at least an hour and something, then a few hours to get home. And then I had to wait. I showed up and he's like, oh, it's not ready. And then I showed back up and he was still kind of working on it. So pretty much one trip to LA to pick that thing up an entire day. Ridiculous, but that's life in Southern California. And you're like, if I don't have to go anywhere, I can just have it shipped, I will do that. And some days like this, you just gotta go out there and get it. Although, I did drop the heads off, so at some point I'll have to go back. But it's not gonna be the day before Thanksgiving, like the biggest traffic holiday of the season. So, here she is. There's no real big holes or nothing in the bag. So, um, I feel pretty good about it. And like I said, I just put the bolts through and lifted it from the outside, leaving the bag in place. And then that's it. We'll just leave it as it is. But there's new uh, new cam bearings, new um, main bearings, new rod bearings. It was just honed out, and then I had a cylinder sleeve put in. Gen 3 rods and pistons, everything was just cleaned up, and reassembled. So all new bearings, it's basically just freshened up. Um, and then I had the rings gapped for boost. You all know we gotta put a little bit of boost to her. Grand is Gen 3, so we're not gonna knock on it too hard, but uh, she'll make some listen noises, it'll be fun. You know, we're not trying to set a record breaking Winnebago or nothing like that, but we would like turbo noises and hopefully smoky burnouts. Those are really kind of the two, the two things we're looking for on this project. So, a little bit of a field trip today, not very informative, but we are steps closer on the Winnebago. We got the heartbeat, I have all the parts in it. Um, and then we got the heads. So as soon as the heads come back, I'll bring you guys along. We'll slap this together. And then we just got to find a transmission. And it is game time. We're going to pull that thing apart. Start throwing the motor in it so we can get rolling. Until next time, you guys know what to do. Keep it locked. I'm out.